Princess Madhudurai Elchi, 54 years old, resident of Sukhampati, Elkasi, homemaker, belonging to lower middle class, according to Sukhdori Friends Kupuswami Skir, Parato living to, came with the chief complaints of post-menopausal bleeding on and off for one year. A patient is post-menopausal woman, attained menopause three years ago. She was apparently normal one year back. Then she noticed bleeding per vaginum on and off for one year. Cervix was replaced by irregular growth. 
with parametral induration on both sides, not extending up to the pelvic side walls. Bilateral forces were generated. On rectovaginal examination, parametrium was induced without pelvic wall extension. Provisional diagnosis is carcinoma cervix stage 2. My first question to you is that uh, since you have uh, thought about it as
part of our brain. We have to look up that answer because this time we are going to take it. Yeah, this is what we are going to do. Let's see if it uh, comes back to you by the end of the session. Okay, back to it. Now, you did a parental examination. What was the importance of doing a parental examination in this case? Parametric involvement. Parametric involvement. One more. Is involved or not? Two. Neutral safety. No child not call, but yeah, that is more better evaluated. Positive reference is better evaluated, right? So tell me other conditions in psychology in which per rectal examination plays an important role. One very nice answer. Yes. Or because you cannot do a power channel examination, you can get an indirect information through parallel examination. Very good. Tell me more. Joint force is better. Yeah. Tell me more. Think of. Abhi to bataya, what say? Kya kya dekhte hai? Think of. The quality for power to travel. They are consulting and giving answer. So expected is that he will come. So tell me. Come on. And if you are expecting any nodularity, voucher factors, you will be able to calculate it better for it. One more. You are going to present a case or what? Yeah. One more condition in which for it will examination take the role. Deep sea where it will be placed. Good. Very good. So deep sea where it will be placed. Yeah. 
was only a clinical classification. Now, pathological and radiological also came into the Good. So, uh, what, how do you like to proceed in this case? You have already made a diagnosis. So, let's find out how do you proceed. Uh, investigations or further investigations of the USG, MRI. Mm -hmm. MRI is the investigation. Okay. What do you want to look up in MRI? The size of the tumor, extent, any in, no, lymph node involvement other than. Lymph node involvement and the size and numbers of where they are located. Anything more? And the more that MRI can give you? Yes, can. No, no. This is the thing that my mother said to me and my mother. What will MRI give you more information about? It can help you more. It's just not limited to the oil approach. Can you tell me what more? PGs can you help? Help them. Yes, that way. You know, those, those things help you to understand whether the induration, you understand that this induration that is happening, guys, can also be an infection or infective or inflammatory in nature. Now, once that happens, you actually stage of malignancy to a higher degree in comparison to what it is. So, you get something like a downstaging or upstaging of a malignancy that can happen whenever you are diagnosing or staging a malignancy just on clinical basis, right? So, this staging might be different than when you are involving an MRI and that is where the role of MRI was considered up because uh, that helps us to understand to what extent actually malignancy is going on. Okay, so how shall we proceed further? You did an MRI, you confirmed it to be 2B. Now, how shall I proceed further? I mean, the MRI showed in your team notes, the team notes are positive. Okay. So, the staging is upstaging a 3C1. Okay, so you have upstaged it now to 3C. Now, how shall I proceed? Chemo radiation is given. Okay, so you will proceed on with chemo radiation. Can you tell me about point A and point B? Point A is 2 cm above and lateral to the internal loss, and point B is 3 cm lateral to the point A. And what is point A signifying? It signifies the treatment should be given to the paramedium. Okay, and point B, obturator. Okay. And uh, what exactly do we need to think of while we are going for chemo radiation? Is it tele, brachy or both? Both. Both. Can you tell me five um, complications that are associated with chemo radiation? Five. Ovary is a sensitive for radiation. So you are worried with ovary? Propitiary? Okay. So tell me something else. Vaginal fibrosis. Okay. One. Two. Two. Tell me more. You are supposed to come up here five. Three more remain. See other other organs, organs that are adjacent to this particular organ where you are giving radiation. They are also going to be getting affected. You know, life is not so good after getting a chemo radiation. There are issues even after that as well. That is sensitive. As so now we count up the fish dust separately, huh? Rectogen fish da, cyclogen fish da, separate, separate and then make it to five. <laughs> okay, let's go back to another aspect of this disease. Radiation cystitis, yes. Strictures. Strictures, they have already counted up. Can you tell me more? Is she Just having some problem right now? Has anybody seen her yesterday? She complained of a new symptom yesterday. Not swelling. Okay, so the title is Ave Kia, so it's back to you. Proctitis. Proctitis, yes. The proctitis is back to you. Tell me about the symptoms. Madam, who is there? So who has seen yesterday? Who is who was there when we examined the patient? Patient said that she has some swelling in the well now, but what was there? Um, visitors were there. Okay. So, well, well, also radiation changes are there even in well mind or part of the child. Everything burns, you know, mm -hmm. with this, every cell is getting affected. So, think of all the areas that have been around in your spine, you can easily count them up to. Okay. So, that goes your spine. Up to you, Fish does a very good idea.
So let's move back a bit. You know, like what could have been done for this lady, say, when she was 35, 40 years old? Which way? Positive area that is malignant, possible malignancy in VIA, 
a visual section that's like as if negative area was in VR LI or it was in an application that are risky areas. Okay, nevertheless. All those four things are good. So anything that is raised, that is having uh, um, vessels that are clustered, that are dilated, so the feeding vessel is less diameter and the vessel that is there over the region is more broader is something that is risky, new vessel prioritization is talking about. And whenever you get such areas, what can be done? Clean filters are Okay, so you have done a public scope, you have done a VI, VI, LI, or Paxmare, or you are having a look at the species area, you have mapped the surveys. Now what? Biopsy is taken. Okay, can I go for some better way out? See, the latest guidelines, they say that there is a one step treatment or one step management for these patients. See and treat. So see and treat. What do you do? What can you do? Laser ablation. Say, okay, it's going to be Sarah Krishna diagnosis. Yes, it's now. Cryo ablation. the diagnosis. Yes, This lady is bound to have some issues to treat them. Post vital bleeding that uh, you have taken up in your case, that is again a very good indicator. And if a post vital bleeding is presented in any lady, not deviated on its own, always evaluate your patient and then you go. So I think it is a moral responsibility of all of us who are sitting up here to take care of our super topics and somehow this topic is very close to my heart. That's why I keep on you know bragging about it. And do think about vaccination guys, not only girls, boys also because you're trying to watch the be disinfected. So you can think about uh, this vaccination. Thank you so much.